The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Jesus says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place. And when I go to prepare a place, I'll come back for you. And I'll take you home with me. So that where I am, you too will be forever. Hallelujah. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I'm going to make a place. Then I'll come back and take you there. And if it were not so, then I wouldn't have told you that I'm going to make a place. I will come back and take you there. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but might have everlasting life. John 3, 16. The Bible says, For God did not send his son into the world to destroy the world, to condemn the world, to judge the world, but that through him they who believe and repent of their sins might have everlasting life. You believe in Jesus Christ? You believe that he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords and the only Savior to your soul. The Bible says, if only you can believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the one that God raised from the dead and confess him with your mouth that he is your Lord and personal Savior, you shall be saved. There is not much about this Jesus. There is no, there is nothing we have to do. There is no work we have to work. There is no money we have to pay. We just have to believe that he is the Lord of all mankind. We have to believe that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We have to confess with our mouth, even as we believe with our heart, that he was raised from the dead by God Almighty. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to heaven except through Jesus Christ. No one is saved except through Jesus Christ. No one, no one, and no one. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No other prophet ever said this. As a matter of fact, Mohammed said in the Quran, he said, I do not know what lies beyond this life. I do not know what lies beyond this life. If you die, I don't know what lies are heard of you. But Jesus said, I know. Jesus said, it is either you are going to go to heaven or you are going to perish in hellfire. Hallelujah. Whether you believe it or not, the word of God is true. And it is only true that which Jesus Christ has attested to be true. It is only true that which Jesus Christ says it is. Believe in Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Read the scriptures. Read the Bible. Repent truly. And I say read the Bible because if you don't read the Bible, how can you know what God requires of you? Seek the Spirit of God. For you are going to give an account of the life you live on earth. The day is coming. It is called the Judgment Day. Everyone is going to give an account of the life they lived. 
if you live as a prostitute, you will give an account and you will be cast down to hellfire if you do not repent. The Bible says, do not be deceived for the unrighteous, the homosexuals, the liars, the thieves, the revelers, the extortioners, the cheats, those who support abortion and those who commit abortion, they will by no means inherit the kingdom of God. Even you who watch, mass, who, who watch pornography and masturbate yourself, you are on your path to hellfire unless you repent. The word of God is true. And no matter how you judge, you dodge it, no matter how you try to defend yourself, you only have one option. Repent. Jesus Christ said, an evil generation, an adulterous generation, he said, they seek a sign, but no sign will be given unto them but the sign of Jonah. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at, is at hand. Repent. The Lord says, unless they all repent, they will all likewise perish. You who watch pornography, you who tell lies, you who sleep with people's husbands and wives, you who lust after people's flesh, you, the Bible says, you are on your path to eternal destruction unless you repent. But I have not come to dish out the destruction to you. But to tell you that there is grace. Grace enough for those that are still alive. For the Bible says, it is appointed unto man once to die, and the next thing is judgment. Are you ready? What if tonight was your last night? Many have died. Many have died unprepared. They didn't know that was the last of them. They made preparations for tomorrow, for next week, for next month, for next year, for five years' time. But you know, the Lord says they are foolish because life and death is in the hands of Jehovah. And he shall require of your soul whatever he chooses. I ask you again. What if today was the last day of your life? How would you meet the Lord? Ask yourself, how would you meet the Lord? Ask yourself, would you meet the Lord as the Lord of your salvation or the, 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 the glorious judge? The judge who is going to judge you for your sins and your own repentant heart. The Bible says the Lord is in all generations, commanding all, every nation and tribes and tongues and races to repent and live in holiness. For without holiness, none shall see the Lord. I say to you, the Bible says, let the women dress as women and the men as men. For the woman who dresses as a man, a woman who dresses in pants, and a, a man who dresses as a woman, the Bible says, these are abomination unto the Lord your God. But you don't read your Bible, how would you know? You go with what the, the society says. You go with what Hollywood says. The Bible says, why do you highlight yourself? Why do you highlight your eyes? Why do you paint your face? The Bible says, let the women dress and adorn themselves with holy apparel, holy, holy apparel. No makeup, no artificial hair, no artificial nail. The Bible wants us to be holy, but no, you have chosen your way and you have chosen your path. And you listen to those who tell you that follow your heart. The Bible says do not follow your heart because the heart is deceptive, very deceptive. And who can know it? Don't follow your heart. Don't follow Hollywood. Don't follow what the society says. Follow what the Bible says. The Word of God says, Heaven and earth 
will pass by. Everything will be destroyed. But the word of God will stand and abide forever. The Bible says there is a way that seems right. There is a way that looks beautiful unto all mankind. There is a way that is broad and wide. But it is leading you to hellfire. That way is the way of unrepentance. The way of masturbation and pornography and telling lies and smoking and doing drugs and drinking alcohol. That way seems right to you. But it is leading you to hellfire. Yes, there is hellfire and there is hell and there is heaven. You believe in heaven. Why don't you believe in hell? The concept of heaven and hell were drawn from the Bible. You don't believe the Bible, but you believe in heaven. What a hypocrite. And you believe in heaven, but you don't want to believe in hell. What a hypocrite. The concept of heaven and hell are drawn from the Bible. Repent of your sins. You who sleep with people's husbands, repent or, or you are on your way to hellfire. Repent. You who masturbate and fornicate and tell lies. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is at hand. The Bible says when you see all these things being spoken to you, when you see all these things happening, know that the coming of the Son of God is not only at hand, but it is here. Question, are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? Are you walking in holiness and righteousness? Or are you following the dictates of your heart? You fornicator, you liar, you thief, you lesbian, you homosexual. The Bible says, like in the days of Noah, so will it be when the Son of, the Son of God shall make his appearance. But there is grace for you who is still alive today. For tomorrow is not promised you. In the days of Noah, people were drinking and eating and marrying and celebrating and partying and going to nightclubs and doing all sorts of things and they were not